everything I do as far as when I wake up in the morning to when I go to bed at night, there's something inside of me that just tells me to create. Your hand, the brush, the canvas, the paint from your mind is all connected as one. I don't ever want to be a part of what a textbook says or what somebody says is the natural process for an artist to be taught. I just want to do what feels right. It was my way of showing those people who may follow me or enjoy my work or see my paintings to say, hey, he's painting about the oil spill. Maybe it'll spark something in them to get as mad as I am about it. Maybe it'll spark something in them to go research a little bit, to pay it a little more attention, to tell people that they may come across in their day about how horrible it is. And it was my way of saying, look, I'm aware, you know, and I can't really do anything but, but make this painting. And it was my way of, of, of really sticking it to Tony Hayward. I couldn't get over this guy in front of Congress, what he was saying. And it was my way of kind of plastering him on canvas forever. Like, I see you, and now you're here. And I'm putting you around a dead dolphin and around this oily water. And, and it's horrible what you did. And it's horrible what that company did. I needed to paint it nice so it would grab people's eye and they would appreciate it. But this isn't about being pretty. It's about, it's like a journalistic statement on canvas without saying a word. There's points in painting that you just want to kick a hole in the canvas and throw it across the room and start over again and you hate it and it just sits there and then one day you wake up and everything makes sense.